A few months ago, China's state rocket industry had released a rendering of a spacecraft that resembled SpaceX's Starship vehicle. Now, a senior Chinese space official claims that the country is changing its plans for the Long March 9, a massive rocket. This launcher, it turns out, resembles the design of SpaceX's Super Heavy Booster, which will serve as Starship's first stage. Is China attempting to copy SpaceX? But why is that? In today's video, we'll find out, as this is why China keeps copying SpaceX. China, as a key member of the space race, has disclosed ambitious plans to keep up with the Westerners, as the United States has been a trendsetter through NASA and SpaceX. It's hardly news that China has admired and envied the tracks of SpaceX. China is entering the arena with its brand of reusable orbital rockets, something Musk has always welcomed. China has set lofty goals for space transportation, which it intends to achieve through the use of reusables in an unusual turn of events. China appears to have taken it upon itself to match its achievements in space. Link Space In a promotional video that went viral on Sina Weibo, a Chinese microblogging site, China's first private rocket venture, Link Space, unveiled the design of its new line one-launch vehicle which could potentially take down SpaceX's Falcon 9 in the future. In the video, one can see how China plans to achieve suborbital passenger flights in about 20 years using two contrasting concepts. However, the first design has piqued the imagination of space aficionados because of its apparent resemblance to SpaceX's Starship vehicle, which is depicted in the movie as a massive vehicle capable of vertical takeoff and landing. This news surfaced when China celebrated its sixth National Space Day in Nanjing, the capital of Zhengzhou province. Chinese space officials used the occasion to reveal the name of the country's first Mars rover, dubbed Zurong, which is set to land on the Red Planet next month. Under the country's long-term planning goals, a video clip of Sina Weibo depicted a similar concept using a horizontal takeoff horizontal landing vehicle that used some form of electromagnetic catapult. After the design and other technical details of the new Line 1 is revealed, the Chinese industry will begin delivering cargo around the world via a suborbital flight by 2035 and people by 2045. Expected Similarities The first stage of the newly planned launcher could have a landing technology similar to that of the Falcon 9 booster. According to Hu Zhengyu, the founder and CEO of LinkSpace, the new Line 1 will be a small launch vehicle designed for micro and nano satellite launchers that will be able to propel around 440 pounds into sun synchronous orbits of 155 to 342 miles. The ability to reuse the new Line 1 rocket, particularly the first stage, will drastically reduce the cost of a single orbital launch, according to Hu. Reusing the first stage of the rocket, which could have an improved version as well as increased takeoff weight as the new Line 1 has one reusable stage, the price would drop to around 15 million yen, $2.25 million. The company also wants to provide a second stage that can be reused after landing. The CEO is enthusiastic about adding more stages to his plan book, even if it may not be viable in the initial variety. However, later versions such as the new Line 2 or new Line 3 may be achievable. According to reliable sources, the new Line 1 launch vehicle's construction would cost Link Space around 300 million yen, $45 million, and its first flight was set for 2020, a deadline that the company set in 2017 but has missed. This was expected because the goal itself seemed unrealistic, for it was difficult to develop the core technology behind these complex systems such as flight control and landing until now. Although the Chinese government has high expectations of private firms, it stepped up its gears and shown interest in following Elon's path by constructing the Long March 8. Hugh and his team are hopeful that their venture will attract clients from the industry and plan on performing missions for the Chinese government as well. According to state media, the goal is to broaden the country's capabilities in terms of Sun Synchronous Orbit SSO, and Geosynchronous Transfer Orbit GTO, launches. It would also be used by the Chinese to test their technology for vertical landing and takeoff, 
to the point where they plan to land on even a sea platform using retro propulsion, and it is clear where they're heading with their ambitions after a successful mission of the rocket in 2020, China has received a much-needed pat on the back, and the country has even unveiled plans to develop a super-heavy rocket dubbed the Long March 9 with three stages. Purpose behind LM9 the aim of LM9, according to the deputy head of China's National Space Agency, is for any future new crewed lunar or martial landing missions that the government might undertake, according to the initial intentions. Long March 9, or CZ-9 as it is also known, was designed in 2016 as a rocket with a first stage core diameter of 10 meters and four additional boosters strapped into the core stage. China intends to make it carry a payload of 140,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit and about 40,000 kilograms to Mars by 2030, and sources claim that its first flight could be to retrieve a sample from Mars. The development program for the rocket was approved by the Chinese government in 2021, whereas the CZ-9B variant only has the bare 10-meter diameter core stage and has a 50,000-kilogram payload capacity for LEO Cult, has made decent progress on the project and has successfully forged the 10-meter diameter alloy rings and made breakthroughs regarding the 500-ton thrust kerosene liquid oxygen and 200-ton thrust kerosene liquid oxygen. In 2017, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation issued long-term space transportation roadmaps, with 2035 as the target date for achieving full reusability for its launch vehicles. Triple Core Rocket Technology Finally, it's rumored that China is working on triple-core rocket technology that could produce output similar to the Falcon Heavy and Delta IV so it is safe to conclude that both Russia and China are keeping an eye on Elon Musk's progress. Will this result in a massive mess, or will the competition be beneficial to the space industry's future? What do you think? Could it put the original SpaceX in jeopardy? Let us know in the comments down below. We would love to hear what you think about this and China's actions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.